Hello, Andy fans. Michael O'Sullivan here with head coach David Niffin of the UC Irvine men's volleyball team. As we recap what was such a special year here in 2015, coach, uh, coming to an end somewhat recently. Um, but we look back on it, 28 wins throughout the season in total, a 19-3 record in what is such a grueling conference in the MPSF, which ended in a tournament championship. But uh, really was a, a special year here, wasn't it, for your guys and for this, you know, UCI community? Uh, top to bottom. I mean, that's it's a special year for UC Irvine. Period. Right. And I think for us to be able to play into that has has been remarkable. Uh, you know, I think people forget that we we have more national championships with men's volleyball than conference championships. But to come out and, and be able to win on our home court based on how hosting works in our conference. Right. You know, we're able to line up against those Pac-12 opponent, Pac-12 opponent, and then, you know, perennial powerhouse uh, in Pepperdine. And to win it on this court in front of thousands of UC Irvine fans, that's, uh, that's a really special deal. Yeah, you talked about it. I think after that USC game in the MPSF semis, mm -hmm. how just the momentum for men's basketball kind of carrying oh. over to uh, those couple of days, that, that was cool. This place was electric. It was. Yeah, I mean, volleyball is an exciting sport to begin with. And right. uh, so, you know, credit to the game for being what it is. But uh, there was no question that we received a much needed lift mm -hmm. and some very tough moments against a very good USC team. And we felt that again against Pepperdine the next night, right. uh, coming back, playing two nights in a row against two of the top teams in the country. Uh, nobody gets to do that alone. You know, and I think we in a team sport recognize that as much as anyone. And you know, I'd give thanks to the basketball team as much as I give thanks to every person that sat here because they, they got that moment charged up for us and we were just ready to ride that wave. Now, it's been a cool couple of months mm -hmm. on this campus, no question. And that was a cool couple of days here at the Bread to see you guys clinch the tournament championship. Uh, looking at your team specifically, talking about this MPSF conference, the player in that conference this year, Zach LaCavera, a senior. Um, when we were talking about the seniors kind of before senior night here at the Bren, you had mentioned how Zach has always been ready to take his game to the next level and be great. He really was that this year, wasn't he? He was great. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think the thing I would say about Zach is that he will continue to be great for us even after he leaves because he's left his fingerprints all over this place in terms of, you know, the standard, what leadership can look like, uh, what greatness can look like, what being a great teammate can look like. And yeah, we're just we're so grateful that uh, that we were able to provide a venue for him to excel because Zach would be great wherever he goes, you know. And I think that's a really important thing to keep in mind. I feel that way about most of our players, those that are you know graduating with our seniors and uh, and those that are still in the program. They're they're chasing greatness in all areas of their life. So to see it demonstrated on a court in front of thousands of people, uh, yeah, special deal. No question and. Zach's other fellow seniors, Michael mm -hmm. Brinkley, Travis Wallace, and Roberto Frizzoni. I mean, those guys have grown a ton and have had very successful years here as well. Yeah, so, you know, I'm looking into the immediate future with these guys. Uh, Roberto will come back. He's got a little bit of school left to do, so he'll be around, which is great for us, you know, just uh, right. having a guy like that around the program. Michael Brinkley and, and Zach Lacavera will both have opportunities to play professionally, and so we hope that they're able to pursue those and that the right opportunities come up for them. And Travis is another guy that we just expect greatness out of wherever he ends up. You know, and right. he actually is uh, done with classes and graduated, and we'll see we'll see where he lands. But um, whether he starts in the mail room and works his way up or anywhere else, we we expect great things from him too. So we talk about that MPSF conference championship. Let's look at the NCAA semis, where you guys ran into a Loyola team that had won the play-in game. Uh, Ramblers really clicked at the right time, ended up winning the national title. But just some of your thoughts on that match now that you've had a little over a week to digest it. Sure. I, I think we were in a field where any of the teams that were there, uh, at least in the, in the field of four at the end, could have won it. And I think I say that and in the same breath. I have to say that we could have played our hearts out and not won it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the hard thing for us is that we didn't play the way we wanted to play at the end. And through all the ups and downs and competitive matches we had seen this season and all the high-level volleyball we had played, for us to not play our best or even our most aggressive in that moment was a challenge for us. And beyond the technical and tactical components of the game, I think that's the sour taste that for a competitor is, right. is always hard. No, no question, but I know that you're hoping this can be a learning experience for a lot of the other guys. I mean, you lose a lot of talent with these seniors, yep. no question. 
just some of the guys we've been talking about. But I know you're very excited for the future as well. And, and for these guys to take that experience in, into next year is big. Oh, absolutely. I, uh, you know, I think the future of UC Irvine men's volleyball is great. Uh, I don't like moments where we don't get to end with a, a championship trophy. Right. Uh, I would prefer that we had that opportunity, but I have to I have to stand by the fact that I believe in how we're doing business. I believe in how we're training, uh, the experience we provide, the day-to-day. -day. I mean, I love coming to work and the guys love coming to practice. And I think when we get into May and April, after such a competitive season with over 30 matches, for guys to come in and enjoy being there, uh, that's not something every program gets to experience. Right. And so what we do now is, we stay the course, and we hope we learn from this moment and prepare for that. And if we get our chance to take those swings in a big moment again on the big stage, we take them, and we take them with uh, responsibly but aggressively. Oh, very well said, Coach. And again, just you feel the momentum throughout many sports here, but, yep. but no question, uh, a, a great season here at UCI. Thanks for taking some time to kind of recap and uh, look back on the 2015 season. We appreciate it. Absolutely. And we'll see you next time, Andy, your fans.